So you will open up a new project. Here you will save it as whatever file name you want to. Make sure you hit browse, save it in the correct folder. You don't have to change any of this information and you hit okay. Yay! Then it brings up all of these panels. Now when we get to Premiere Pro, we'll learn more about all of these panels, but right now we're just worried about importing um, our podcast file and our logo. So to import, you hit Command I on your keyboard, find your logo, import that, and then find your podcast. And it should be an MP3 file. And you import that. So I'll give you a few seconds to do that. I want you to drag over is your logo and you drag it into this timeline window. And you can make that longer. I would suggest doing that a little bit right now by clicking on the right edge, a red bracket with an arrow and you can pull it over a little bit. Then you can drag over your audio. Now, at the bottom of your timeline, there is this mover shaker. Just like in Audition, you can drag to see more of your project. So you want to make sure that you can see most of your projects so that you can pull that logo the whole way to the end. If your logo is not filling mm -hmm. that entire screen, you can click on your logo, make sure it's highlighted in white right click and say scale to frame size. If you need to add any text, um, if you forgot, if you wanna add credits at the end, um, you can do that too. Um, you would use this type tool over here, um, and then you would just type whatever text you want. And you can also format that text if you need to do that. Um, I can also help you individually with that at this point. Once you have all you need in this timeline, you are ready to export. So make sure the timeline is outlined in blue. 
Then you are going to do Command A to select all. It's kind of like an extra step, but I like to be extra safe. Then you're going to go up to File, Export, Media. You'll select that. Under Format, you need to select H.264. Once you do this once, it normally remembers and you don't have to do it again. So H.264. Next, where it says output name, you need to change this to whatever you want it to appear as in your files. So it might be the same name as your project, um, Clopper's Awesome Podcast, whatever you want, episode one. You can see here as well, it's saving it as an MP4 and that's definitely what we want. So you, then you can click save, but we have another step before we export. Down at the bottom where it says source range, you need to select entire sequence. We want all of our stuff in there. Then it's time to export. Now, it will usually take about as long as your um, project to export. So if, you're, if your project's five minutes long, then it will probably take five minutes. If your project is 15 minutes long, it will probably take 15 minutes. Maybe a little more, maybe a little less. So you just have to wait until this is finished. 